Alright, so I'm going to try to explain as simply as possible how you can get unlimited unthrottled data. You can unlock this on uh, on some devices that I'll explain and on any carrier, uh, whether it's AT&T, T-Mobile, uh, Verizon, or any of the MVNOs. So you, what you need is a supported device. Uh, you could use Android phones. Uh, you can use a dedicated um, mobile cellular hotspot like the Nighthawk M5, which I had success uh, with. And you could also use an iPhone, but I've only been able to get this to work with an iPhone running on Verizon because iPhones do not let you change the APN settings and neither does it let you change the TTL value. So uh, so with, with Verizon on iPhone, uh, you should be good except for the TTL part, which there's options for that, I'll explain. Uh, so with my Android phone here, I have rooted it, and it does make it easier with a rooted phone, but it's not entirely necessary. So, as you can see here, I have used quite a bit of data on my uh, my uh, Cricut account. This is uh, more than usual. I don't usually use this much data, uh, but just for examples, for test test purposes, I have used a significant amount of data. And as you can see, my mobile hotspot data is zero. None of my hotspot data that I've used has been detected. And so, okay, the first thing that you need to do is have a supported device. Whatever phones are allowed on your carrier, uh, your on your carrier, then uh, that that IMEI number is going to tell them that your device is supported. Okay, so, so this IMEI number, uh, what this is, is a unique identifier to your phone. Let's say I have an iPhone uh, Pro Max, uh, it's a 14 and it's green. Uh, it's going to have all that information in the IMEI uh, number and your carrier is going to say, yes, you are supported on my network. Uh, however, uh, this doesn't really matter so much if you have a phone that is supported. This does matter if you go the mobile cellular hotspot route that, that I did. And uh, you will have to change your IMEI number for such a device. Uh, there's an easy tool that you can do this with. A lot of people use... Alright, so a lot of people use the tool DC Unlocker. And it, it appears to be a valid tool, but... The tool is paid, and I don't like paid tools. So this uh, GitHub project, M5 Restore, uh, this does allow you to easily restore uh, your IMEI number to whatever you would like it to be. Uh, you could actually go and generate a IMEI number online uh, with a number of different generators that are available. Just make sure it's a 5G phone that is supported on your carrier, and... Uh, this this will work on any computer, Mac, Windows, Linux, as long as you set up a Python environment. But it's really easy with Windows. They just give you this exe file, so you don't even have to worry about that. Um, and so that's where IMEI matters. For, for what I'm doing, it doesn't so much matter. And the TTL value is something that I can change on a rooted device. So this... TTL Editor is a very simple tool to use uh, for changing your TTL value. And you also need to install BusyBox. This is a set of tools such as IP tables, which is what uh, these apps use to change the, the TTL value on your device. So in BusyBox, what you want to do is select System Bin and install. That's going to install all of the Linux tools that are needed to change your uh, TTL value. And so in TTL Editor, you want to make sure that you are selecting 64. This is the number that a cell phone should use. And you want to apply to all network interfaces. Press OK. And that is taken care of. Your TTL value is set. And then there is one more step after this, 
on a rooted device and you are good. Uh, so I am going to uh, change my APN here. Uh, access point names. So by default, I had this uh, APN profile. Uh, this is my default profile, just so you could see what it is, just for reference. But I did have to create a new APN profile. And I called this NDO for crickets. This is cricket specific settings. And uh, most importantly, I added DUN for the APN type. And in the case that you cannot access this edit access point uh, part in your settings, in some phones you cannot, uh, you are going to want this tool. Uh, let's see, maybe I don't have it installed. Let me go to the Play Store. Okay, add APN. For some reason, I don't have this installed. I guess it's because I did not need it for my phone. But if you have a carrier phone, chances are you are not going to be able to edit your APN settings and you are going to need this app. So that's going to bring you straight to the APN settings. And then whenever you're done, you can just hit save and then you can go back to your, uh, your access point settings. I think it's here. Ah, uh, yeah. And then you can select it. Okay, and so then you're done with your APN. At this point, on a rooted Android device, you are done. You have a limited unthrottled hotspot. Now, if you do not have a rooted device, all you need to do is change your APN, and you're going to have to either set your a TTL value on your computer. So if I go to Mac, what, what I can do on my computer is sudo uh, sys uh, ctl net.inet ip ttl equals 65, enter my password, and that will set my uh, TTL value. That's the free way of doing this. Uh, there's also a way that you can uh, set your TTL value using a router. Um, I use this router here whenever I want to do that. Uh, and, and, and this is going to uh, let you set your TTL value uh, using the firewall under, uh, you, you can find a tutorial, on, I'll provide a tutorial in the description on how to do this. But basically in, in your firewall custom settings, you're going to set these uh, settings and actually, let me uh, set that to 65. It's going to be 65 if you use the router. Okay. And so, yeah, for an Android phone, that is all you need to do, rooted or unrooted. Uh, that's the, the ways you need to do this. On an iPhone, uh, you do need Verizon for this. I haven't been able to get this to work on other carriers, but uh, on iPhone, the unique situation is you cannot edit your uh, APN settings, and you also can't edit your TTL uh, settings. Now, you can still use the router uh, trick with the iPhone also, but as far as APN, Verizon is the only carrier that I have used out of the big three that has the correct APN settings by default.